Hey guys, welcome back. As you know, November is the month of Thanksgiving. At the end of the month, we get to eat all the yummy food and pig out on super yummy turkey and pie and everything else that Thanksgiving brings and get to be thankful for the things that we have. So this month, we're focusing on being thankful and how the Bible tells us how to do that. So we've already kind of gone over a couple of other stories and today's a little bit different. So this story is about a lady. So this lady has 10 coins, 10 coins, which if you think about it in these days, 10 coins, imagine if you had like a thousand dollars. That's a lot of money, right? Thousand dollars. So she has her 10 coins and she loses one. So she goes looking for it. She doesn't just like look for it. She cleans her whole house. She even like lights extra lights up just to search for this one coin. Now think about it. If that was you and you had a thousand dollars and you lost a hundred dollars, wouldn't you go crazy everywhere in your house looking for that hundred dollars? I know I would. I wouldn't just be like, oh, well, it's a hundred dollars. I guess I don't need it. Nope, I'd be searching everywhere. My bed would be up, everything. Like, I'd look every corner. But that's what she did. She cleaned her house from top to bottom looking for this coin because she was really worried. She needed this coin. This was everything. And then she probably didn't have a lot. So having 10 coins, that's huge. So she searches high, she searches low. She doesn't stop until she finally finds it. She finds her coin. So imagine how happy you would be if you found your $100 bill. And you were like, yes, I have $1,000 now. Wouldn't you be so excited? Well, she was super excited. She actually told her neighbors, guess what, I found my one coin. I found it, I found it. And they were all excited and happy for her and they probably had a little party. The same way, like, if you get into your parents and you're like, guess what? I found my $100. Like, don't you think your parents would be super excited? Like, I would be excited for my kids. Even if they lost it because it was their fault, like, we'd be super excited that they had it back because no one wants to lose that kind of money, right? Well, this story isn't about being thankful for money. That's not the point. The story is we got to look at it like God. So if God loses one of us, He's going to look high and low, top to bottom. He's going to look everywhere until he brings us home. Now, God doesn't actually lose us. God knows where we are all times, all the time, every thought, everything. But when we turn away from God, it's like God loses us. When we decide we don't want to follow God anymore, when we decide that we don't want to be uh, his children, then that means he's losing us from his family. But God won't stop looking for us. God will still keep searching us out. He will do everything possible to bring us back. And then when he does come home, we or when we do come back to him, we all get to celebrate together. So that means other Christians and other people who follow God, we all celebrate together because we all want to be part of his kingdom and we all want to be together as one. So it's a weird story, right? But it's just to show that we go everywhere searching for money, just like God would go everywhere searching for us. God doesn't want us lost. God wants us under his protection and together. And we want to be thankful for that. We want to be thankful that God does everything possible to keep us under his wings and that he will do everything possible to make sure that we understand and know his love. Because that's what God wants us to do. And that's what the Bible teaches us all the time, to be thankful and to seek God out because he's sitting there waiting for to receive us. So talk to your parents. Talk about maybe a time that you lost something. Did you ever lose something like a favorite toy, a favorite book, even a lot of money? And you looked everywhere and just imagine how happy you were. Remember that excitement that you had when you finally found it. That's what God feels for us 10 times bigger than that when he finds us because he's always excited when we come home and we're never fully lost because he'll always keep looking for us. So talk to your parents about it this week. Think about different ways you could be thankful. And be as we prepare for Thanksgiving, keep in mind all the things that God has given us and blessed us with. All right, guys, have a good week, and I'll see you next week.